Now, I want to write the upcoming jam and I want to cover the jam syllabus for the first soil combination in 90 days. This is the blueprint I'm going to follow here. So many of you have been asking about the blueprints to follow to cover jam syllabus. So, these blueprints I'm about to expose to you here is what Deeper Life High School I'll be using to read for six hours. And they and they be able to cover the jam syllabus for 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 90 days, which was three months. If you can apply it very well, it's going to be of help to you. We, we have called the weekly day, weekly days activity. We have called the weekend activities. So here is that you wake up by 6 a.m. and do your morning routine, do all this your 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 work right at the stu uh, 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 some of each system with your peers. So you're going to take for two hours, 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. So you're going to be waking up and work. Uh, morning routine, you know, you know what I mean. Then, for from from 8 a.m., you start your reading. So, this is where you read your first subject. Now, I'm going to assume that you are going for science like engineering because the subject I'm going to use called the English, mathematics, chemistry, and physics. But if you are not in if, if this is not, not a story combination, then you can replace it with any other subject. Just now. So please pay, pay close attention because it's going to uh, help you a lot. So from 8 a.m., you have to study the first subject, which is your English, English language. So you have to read English language as the first subject. I'm going to last for one hour 13 minutes. So your first session is going to be one hour 13 minutes. I'm going to last from 8 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. So after you have studied for that first session, you have to take a break for 15 minutes. Now, taking a break is very, very important. So, you probably can go for work or you can do anything, but you have to take a break for 15 minutes. Just now. So, after you take a break for 15 minutes, you come back, you come back from 9.45 a.m. For 9.45 a.m., you read the second subject. Yes, the second subject. Now, this second subject can be mathematics. Just now. So, you read it for one hour, 13 minutes. You read it for what? One hour, what? 13 minutes. So, that will last for what? To 11. 15. So you go this will last for toward 11 or 15. Please make sure you are, you, you are taking your pen. So make sure you have your pen and your notebook so I can take this blueprint out. It's going to be of help to you. If you can follow this year, I bet you are going to achieve a lot. So once you get to level 15, you have to take your, your second break. And this second break is going to last for 15 minutes. Just now. It's very important to take break. It's very important. So from that 8 a.m. to uh, 11, 11, 15, you have, you, you have rested twice and you have studied subjects. Just now. Now, you come back again. It, it, you remember, you take a break for 15 minutes, right? So that will not take us to 11, 30 a.m. Now, that 11, 30 a.m. is your third subject. Now, this third subject can either be physics or what? Chemistry. Physics or what? Chemistry. So, depending on the one you want to study. So, you read physical chemistry for 15 now let us say you are reading what physics so it's going to be what for 15 one hour 13 minutes so that will not take us to what to 1 p.m where i want to take your your long break it's going to be one hour break so this way you can rest or you can go take your lunch you understand but you want to give yourself one hour break it's very important to give yourself one hour break so that will not bring us what to two o'clock p.m this is where i want to study this fourth subject the fourth subject so this one can be what chemistry just this this first subject can be what chemistry so you are going to read for what? one hour 30 minutes one hour what 30 minutes yes so from 10 p.m you take your what your your 30 you do want to be what 30 minutes break here just um, because you, you are trying to round up you are done with the first subject for the day just um, so you what you take your rest so you're going to be taking so for 4 p.m you come back again you review what you have studied it's very important to review what you study it's very important so you just try to review recall like what you have studied for what for one hour so you can review what you study for in mass english physics and chemistry you, you review it you understand so this is you go to take for one hour so for 5 p.m is your free time this is where you go take do your evening routine Help your parents or help some help you know, you know the number of work you do in the what in the evening, right? So you, you do that. 
they have now took us to what to 8 p.m that 8 p.m is what is a quick recap or use the flashcard so my next video i'm going to teach you how, how you can use flashcard in your in your uh study how you can use flashcard flashcard is very important i'm going to i'm going to explain that to you so after i've done that here yeah, you go to before probably taking this all one hour then you go and relax and sleep you enjoy your sleep because you know that you have done the work now this approach is for students who are really who really have maximum time to study you understand when you have maximum time so you're not engaged in here this is going to be of help to you so you you record the stuff here you do it uh for every single day now you can change the subject at times probably in the morning your test can be chemistry so you know how to work with it but this is just a blueprint of how you can study effectively just i'm going to be of mass you go to be of maximum help to you so that you, you utilize day you utilize the day where then you rest enough in the night because resting is very, very important to store to store to store information in your brain just now so if you can do this here from monday to friday so what i've just shared with you here is going to be monday to friday i will call saturday now saturday is for revision and past question just now so that's going to be for saturday so uh the weekly day is for monday to friday the saturday is for what is for revision and past question this is where you do your revision and revise past question then on sunday is going to be for speed test speed test to what to test yourself so if you can do this here it's going to be of great help to you so if i'm going to write jam how come jam this, this is the blueprint i'm going to follow and i have all the time at at, at my disposal this is what blueprint i'm going to follow hope you follow it here if this video is helpful leave a comment section that this video is helpful please if you have not joined our uh, jam online class please leave a comment section that you want to join jam online class and i'll add it to what the group chat see you in my next video